Hello, as you know, my name is Kainton, and today we are going to continue with lesson two of basics of linear programming. So, in, in part one, we discussed the four different steps you need to solve, or the four basic steps you need to follow to solve uh, linear programming problems. And today we say that we are going to continue with the diet problem, which is one of the basic uh, problems you will always encounter in linear programming. We are going to solve it today. Remember to subscribe uh, by clicking on the subscribe button below this video so that you get notified when I make new videos. Also make comment or let me know what you're having challenges with and I'm going to teach you. All right, so what is the diet problem all about? The diet problem is a linear programming problem uh, that has to do with trying to minimize the cost of food while meeting up the daily nutrient requirements. So what are we saying? We are saying that you need to eat enough food to meet up the daily nutrient requirement, more like there's a constraint, you need to meet up amount of nutrient, but you also need to minimize the cost. So in this problem, we are going to identify the cost function. We are going to identify the objective, which is to minimize cost. The variables or the unknowns are the quantity of each food you need to eat. And then the constraints are daily uh, minimum nutrient requirements for protein, vitamin, and iron. All right, so let's quickly see the table, then we can then continue from there. For the diet, diet problem, this is how the table looks like. So it's, it's very easy. I'm going to let you understand it. So these are the foods that need to be eaten. Let's call this A. Let's call this B. Let's call this C. Let's call this D and then E, right? So this is, uh, let's call this grams per unit. Let's call this milligrams per unit. And let's call it milligrams per unit. Uh, let's call it, um, let's call it cents per unit, the cost of each food. So what it means is here is that apple contains uh, 0 0.4 grams per unit of apple and uh, for it contains 6, 6 grams per unit, 6 megagrams of vitamin per unit and so on. And the same goes for banana, carrots, dates and egg. So now we are going to follow the steps. The first thing we are going to identify the variables. So the variables that we need to consider here are actually the food. So let's take it. Uh, variables are the A, B, C, D, E. And these are the quantity of food that has to be eaten. Uh, for now, we don't know it. That is why they are variables. All right, so the cost function is a function of the variables. Of course, you know that if you identify the variables, then the cost function is a, cost, a function of the variables. So let's uh, try to uh, determine this cost function together. The cost function is what? Is what we need to minimize or maximize. And at this point, what are we trying to, uh, what are we trying to, to mi minimize? We are trying to minimize the cost. So let's do it this way. When we eat certain quantity of apple, banana, carrot, date, and egg, is equivalent to a particular amount. So, and the cost has to be minimum. So, when we eat uh, apple, the price is uh, eight cents per unit. So, apple is going to cost us eight cents. So, let's call it eight a. This is for apple. For banana. Is going to be 10 cents so let's call it 10 B right so that is the price of banana uh, for carrots the cost for carrot is 3 so 3 C so if we are eating carrots we are paying 3 cents and we are eating dates we are is how many is 20 20 cents that is 20D, that is uh, 20 cents we are going to pay for dates. Plus, eggs, 
is how many uh, is what is the cost is 15 is 15 15 e so this is the total cost we are going to incur by eating uh, all this daily ration so we eat a balanced diet for now we don't know what what number of units we are going to eat but this is the the cost so we want to keep this cost to a minimum so if i'm going to outline it write it down so we have this is what we have so this is the total cost we are going to eat uh, for to get all these nutrients but we don't know the total cost we are going to incur that will need to be the minimum and we are saying that this is uh, per, uh, per, per day, let's say per day we eat this. All right, so the next thing we are going to determine is the constraint. Now, the minimum daily requirement of protein is 70 milligrams. For vitamin, the minimum daily requirement is 50 milligrams. And for iron, the minimum daily requirement is 12 milligrams. So can we form a constraint from here? Ah uh, yes. So let's start with the first one, protein. So if we are going to eat protein, right? If we if we are going to eat protein, how much of, of amount of protein are we going to eat? Let's see. So we have we eat zero point four of apple. 1.2 banana, 0 0.6 unit of carrot, 0 0.6 uh, of dates, and 12.2 of egg. And that is what we are going to eat. And we don't know whether it's going to be up to or more or less. We don't know. But this, when we eat this amount, then we are eating uh, protein in, in this amount. So let's see how we can write it uh, as a constraint. So for apple, we have 0.4a. This, in this case, we are talking of protein. 0.4a plus 1.2b plus 0.6c uh, plus 06 d plus 12.2 e so this is the total amount of protein we are going to get every day when we eat uh, this different amount of food and we are saying that minimum daily requirement is 70 milligrams so whatever we eat the minimum we should have we should eat is 70 so what we are going to eat has to be uh, greater than or equal to 70. So this is our first constraint. So when it comes to vitamin, let's see if we can create the constraint for vitamin. Can you do this yourself? So in this case, we have 6A. It follows in the same way plus 10B plus 3. C plus or 1D, which is D. So this time we don't have a zero, so let me just leave it blank. So we have plus D, right? And so the same one, the same thing goes for ion. And in case of ion, you have 0 0.4A plus. 0 0.6 B plus 0 0.4 C plus 0 0.2 D plus 2.6 E. So the minimum is uh, for vitamin, the minimum you are going to eat is 50. So here you have to be greater than or equal to 50. All right, so for this item, uh, the iron, the minimum we need to eat every day is 12, so it should be greater than or equal to 12. Oop. So 
this is the constraint. Uh, these are the constraints we have for this diet problem. So we actually have almost written all the constraint, except that we must have uh, all this A, B, C, D, this, uh, A, K, A, B, C, D, E, all of them have to be greater than or equal to zero. Because you can't eat uh, something negative, anything. So they can't be negative. So this is the constraint. We've set up everything, the variables, cost function that we need to minimize. So this, we need to minimize the cost. And then these are our constraints. They are one, two, three, four constraints. So for now, we've done the main part. So we are now going to try to solve this equation, uh, to solve this, to be able to get these values. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. So let's continue in part three to be able to see how we can solve for these values.